Next, a state report finds Georgia roads, water systems, bridges, public transit are mediocre at best. Atlanta News First Abby Casoris is live tonight at the state capitol. Abby, engineers say this is going to require lawmakers to take immediate attention. Unsafe drinking water, dams in disrepair, and unsafe conditions on Georgia roadways. Those are just some of the highlights in that 100 page plus report. Some of those civil engineers and state leaders meeting here at the state capitol today, highlighting some of the state's pitfalls. Georgia continues to grow, reaching nearly 11 million people. The American Society of Civil Engineers says the state's infrastructure is lagging behind. As you look at these 14 grades, there's not a single A in the list. Our state averaging a C plus, which stands for mediocre. Public transportation and dams receiving a D, meaning failing. More than half of the state's dams are below satisfactory, in disrepair. A lack of public transit causing congestion on the roadways and more accidents. More than 1,900 people lost their lives on Georgia roads last year. That's tragic. Families, individuals, children, mom and dads. It's tragic. Our state grows and those numbers, instead of going down, those numbers seem to grow too. State Representative Van Smith says improving public transportation is on lawmakers' minds. We've got to try to keep up the best we can the metro system in Atlanta, Georgia. Maybe that's some way we could tie some light rail in to the metro system that's there now. And rural Georgia is more or less bus transit. Is, is big. In Columbus, Georgia, they have a bus transit system there. Georgia's stormwater and wastewater infrastructure fall below the national average. This water main break in Atlanta damaged homes and businesses. Many businesses now pointing the blame at the city. But that just gives us some guidelines to, to say, hey, maybe a little more emphasis in this area. We're doing pretty good in this area. The report also includes some suggestions like increasing funding to public transportation. You can read that in full on the Atlanta News First app or on our website as well. Those civil engineers calling on the General Assembly to read that report before the next session begins in January. Live tonight in Atlanta, Abby Casoris, Atlanta News First.